Hello everybody, GamerPenny here bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy 14 online let's play. And we are back with Vesper. I did a main story quest roulette. Um, forgot how long it took <laughs> to run through those things. And so we're back the next day. Because <laughs> I, got, I got tuckered out uh, sitting there through the cutscenes. Uh, and I was also having a beer, so I, I did not want to record <laughs> afterwards. Um, so we're, we're back with Vesper. Uh, we got level 59. Let's go ahead and continue the uh, main story quest here from Yastola. The cave in which Matoya resides is situated on the southern edge of the hinterlands. In choosing the spot, my master desired privacy above all else. As such, the cave is extremely well hidden. You'll not find it unless you know how to look for it. We shall follow the road south until we reach a bridge. Rather than cross it, however, we shall ford the stream it spans. Thence head straight until we arrive at the base of a bluff. Okay. Alright. Well, the other thing I did, I, I see uh, the quest up here. I was starting to do some... What mount is this? And where can I... It's a two-person mount. Or if it's like a wedding mount. I started doing um, our grand company stuff because I discovered that you can do something cool with the grand company where you have like a, a squad of NPCs that you can send into dungeons and take them along with you if you don't want to group with other people. I'm probably not going to use that for like our main character, <laughs> uh, like the main story that I, I film. But I was finding it was a good way to get a DPS up instead of queuing and then waiting for 20 minutes for a dungeon. You could actually just do that with a DPS and it's like you're with a group, but they're, they're AI instead of players. <laughs> so I was trying to work on that, but we're at a, a standstill with it again that I will work on off camera because we've got to finish the hunting log. For the grand company and uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not close and I'm not going to do that on camera to you guys that would be unfair um, and then I, I did see in the comments uh, I think Vegas Sim said don't do the level boost because it would spoil uh, if I did do the level boost um, I wouldn't I wouldn't do any of that grinding on camera and the other thing I realized is We'd still have to get through the story anyway, because I don't think there's a way to get there, even if you're the right level, without doing the story. <laughs> so, so we are what we'll just have to deal with not having that, uh, that couch mount on this character. I might show it off on my other. Ca I thought I forgot. I forgot we couldn't fly. <laughs> I just tried to fly there. Okay, we got that aether current. Now we are looking for Matoya's cave. No. Don't want you. Um, if I remember correctly, if I remember, it's actually down here. Hello, fate. I don't really want to join that. I think it's down here. We'll see. We'll see when we run here. I mean, she did say uh, don't cross the bridge, go into the stream. And this looks like a stream. To oh gosh. I can't believe we didn't pull that guy. Aha! If nothing else, we discovered this. We're also pulling everything in their mother right now. Oh my god, the frog. Okay. <laughs> I remember this. I think we're in the right place. I remember these frogs. Ah, there she is. Yashtola. Let's grab this. And you can actually get a costume of this frog and become that frog. <laughs> Which is pretty fun. Alright, Yashtola. This is the entrance. Hmm. You seem unconvinced, Vesper. Well, that will only add to the surprise. A word of warning before we proceed. Stubborn geniuses make poor hosts, and time will have done naught to improve my master's temperament. 
Doubt not, but there will be sentinels and traps, both to debtor unwanted guests. But we'll not be deadered, will we? Deterred, I think, is when. Go on and touch the wall yonder. You'll want to have your weapon near at hand. Is this a dungeon? <laughs> are we going to have to do a dungeon to get through here? Or are we... I mean, it's purple, so I know we're going to summon stuff. I didn't think this was a dungeon. Ah, okay. Where's wing sauce? We gotta fight these froggos. No. Stop that. These weren't too hard. I wonder if more come up afterwards. N no? Cool. Oh, Bosom Buddies is almost complete. I mean, we have been playing a little bit this week, so. All right, Yastola. Those sentinels may suffice to discourage the average trespasser, but not the warrior of light. The way should be now, the way should now be clear. Come, let us go see my master. Dang. I mean, if someone's gonna know that that was a door, it would be Yastola. Don't you know it's rude to enter without knocking? <laughs> the use of today. No manners at all. <laughs> I love her. Though we neglected to knock, we did create something of a commotion. I had hoped that would suffice. Heavy-handed as ever, I see. And still not a hint of grace. Some things never change. <laughs> to give credit where credit is due, I learned from the best. It has been too long, Master Matoya. Indeed it has. Oh, it's good to see you again, my girl. And with your fiery spirit unquenched. But look at you, all grown up and womanly. <laughs> the one there in the fancy duds, that's Louis Soir's <laughs> granddaughter, I think. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, Elfie, no. <clears throat> Grandson, begging your pardons. You knew my grandfather, my lady. Knew him? <laughs> We were constantly at each other's throats, like rabid dogs we were. <laughs> oh, he was our stubborn bugger, was your grandfather. <laughs> Never a dull moment when he was around, though, I'll give him that. As for you, boy, I've known you since you were a rosy-cheeked babe at the teeth. <laughs> and my sister, too, I gather. May I say what an honor it is to meet you again, my lady? Spare me the hollow pleasantries, boy. I'll wager my remaining good teeth you didn't come to a forgotten corner of Eosia to flirt with a wrinkly old woman. Now out with it. What is it you need of me? I love her so much. She's one of my favorite characters. We're telling her what's going on. As is La. I never thought I'd hear that name again. Yeah, do you know way into it? You are familiar with it. As familiar as one can get from poring over musty old tomes. The Alagans set the Isle afloat not long before the sun set on their empire. Old Louis Soir and I often talked about it. The place is home to a research facility dedicated to finding ways of mastering mighty beings such as primals and dragons and find ways it did to frightening ones such secrets as lie buried on Azizla aren't fit to see the light of day and now you tell me a band of dragon beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up yep indeed and to make matters worse, the Asians have a hand in their plot. 
They must be stopped, no matter the cost. I see. Very well. You will help us then? Truly? I had not anticipated such an impassioned response. Could it be that the presence of young blood has stirred your own? Ah, some things never change. One day that pertness is going to cost you your tail, my girl. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Cool, so she's gonna help us out. Mount speed in the Dravanian hinterlands has increased. Great. Uh oh. See you over there. Uh, actually, let's go pick that up first. Uh, cause I want that aether current. Woe is me, Ribbit. Mistress Matoya will have my hide. What's wrong? You, you are our guest, and yet you would lend me your aid? Oh, thank you, kind adventurer. I am in your debt. Permit me to introduce myself, Ribbit. I am Saro Rogo, a humble servant of Mistress Matoya. I am tasked with picking leaves from her herb garden, from which I make her her tea. Alas, drawn to their medicinal properties, bugs have recently taken to ravaging the herbs. I attempted to get rid of the pest, but they are too much for a lone parago to handle. I would be grateful if you could eliminate them in my stead, Ribbit. Sure thing. I like a good cup of tea. Alright, now, Matoya. What do you need from us? Ooh, another Aether Current. Twas some um, 50 years ago. Shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilzabad under its rule. Faced with the threat of invasion, the people of Charlian scrambled about for a means to resist the Empire. For my part, I was tasked with developing an etheric converger. Ah, yes. A device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. But as my research neared its end, it was denounced by the Forum, who claimed that my device was more likely to destroy us than our enemies. After that, they and I had a little falling out, and I decided to seal away all the fruits of my research, lest the dunder-headed <laughs> ingrates reap any benefit. <laughs> Petty, I know, but gods, it was satisfying. Do mine ears deceive? T'was you, was it not, who was so fond of saying that all knowledge exists to advance mankind, that how it is used depends on us? I don't remember. <laughs> Perhaps. All right, yes. It was a pet phrase of mine. And that should give you a notion of how sick and tired I was of those spineless wretches of the Forum. All talk and no trousers, that lot. That's why I decided to remain behind, rather than join the Exodus. All talk and no trousers. I like that. I like that saying a lot. You may have had your disagreements with my grandfather, but upon that point, your minds were as one. With respect, Master, the fruits of your research should not be left to spoil. Will you share with us the secrets of the Etheric Converger? Aye, I will. All the information you need is contained in a tome I wrote on the subject. But you'll have to fetch it from the forbidden section of the Great Library. Ah. Oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the library's guardians are all but certain to remain. We must needs cut a path through them. Come, let us away. Not so fast, you lot. <laughs> Stola and the boy are staying with me. Uh-oh. So I gotta go alone? I need help to make new sentinels to replace the old ones you walloped. They'll be bored and lodging, 
don't you worry. But know that you'll have to work for them. Hard. I'll have no sluggards in my house. <laughs> We're like, yep, we can handle it. We can handle it on our own. All right, cool. So I, I know that this is a, a dungeon quest that is there. Oh, the great library's guardians shouldn't pose any difficulty for a hero like you. You hardly noticed your hardly noticed Stola's absence, and the girl, boy, whatever, would only get in your way. <laughs> Poor Elfino. But if it turns out you aren't up to the task, well, then I'll know you can't be trusted with something as dangerous as an etheric ram. Now the library's entrance is locked tight. I'll loan you one of my servants to open it. The broom yonder. Well, what are you waiting for? Introduce yourself, girl. The, the broom? Hello, broom. Greetings, good madame. I am Broomsy, my lady's servant of some 50 years. May I say what an honor it is to serve you. I am given to understand you wish to enter the great Google library. To find it, pray head east upon leaving this cave. The building will come into view shortly after you reach the collapsed bridge. I shall go on ahead and await you at the entrance. When your preparations are in order, pray come and meet me there. It will be my pleasure to unlock the door for you. Okay, weird. But okay. <laughs> Alright, so we'll head out. Um, I will probably unlock the library and run the dungeon. But I also want to do this other little side quest on the way. And then we'll come back and turn them all in. Alright, yeah. Because the medicinal herbs are right here. A little herbage. Alright. An orn, orn fly. Okay. We'll get these guys down. And then we'll go get the library. No, you probably can't see anything that's going on here, but... Alright. Thanks, Wing Sauce. Took a beating there, and we got Bosom Buddies done. Do a little this. Okay. I did not manage our mana well there, so. Okay, and then there should be Unamas. One more? Right here. Okay. Get you. And that should do it for killing the bugs here. Getting that Aether Current. How are we on our Aether Currents? Are we almost there? Um, well, we only need three more out in the world, and these will give us the two um, that will... Two, and then, the, then we'll only have one more, so... All right, and the Great Google Library <laughs> is over here, it looks like. So let's be on the lookout for more Aether Currents. In fact, let's, uh, get out of here. To the east. So straight to the east, which we are headed that way. Cockatrice. Up these stairs, maybe? No. I've got business to attend to. Oh, I see it. And my business is Aether. <laughs> All right, well, one here. The more we pick up, uh, the better it will be to come out here later. And I remember.
remember really liking this dungeon, the the library. Great Google library. Was there a, there's not an aether current like at the end of this, is there? No. I thought that said briefcase. <laughs> I was like Oh, there's an aether current, so then we only need one more in the wild. And in fact, we might wanna just see if it's close around here. By the way, don't fall off though. Okay. It is. No, it's not. <laughs> Southwest. Or northwest. Um, so it's over here somewhere. There's another dungeon, so it, it might be up near there. Actually, what dungeon is that? I don't know what dungeon that is. Alright, so let's just unlock this, and then, um, hey Broomsy, I will cut away, and we will come back once we're in the dungeon, so. Uh, you stand before the Great Goobal Library, one of Heidelin's foremost repositories of knowledge. Alas, it has fallen into disuse since the exodus some summers since. In all those years, its halls have welcomed not the coming of a single soul. Its floors felt not the loving brush of a broom. M mine apologies, madame. Pray pay no mind to the dreams of a humble broom. You are doubtless eager to venture within the re within and retrieve my lady's tome. I shall unlock the door at once. When you have what you seek, pray return to the cave and report to my lady. All right, great Google library. Um, so we're going to sign up for that and I will be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, it didn't take very long at all. In fact, I was still chewing. <laughs> I took a, a bite of a... I eat Takis. Don't judge me for that. And whenever I buy them, they're like, Oh, are these for your kids? No, I... No. <laughs> I, I enjoy the Takis. Um, so I'm still... <laughs> I'm still eating them. So I apologize. It, it, it said it was going to take eight minutes, and it took like two. Um, so here we are in the Great Google Library. Got another bunny with us. Who do we have in our, our group here? Paladin. Scholar. Ooh, and a machinist. Cool, cool, cool. So like I said, I remember this dungeon being really fun. Um, but don't ask me, like, why? I can't... I, I couldn't tell you what's actually in here. Oh, cool. School of Phantasmagoria. Hmm. I wonder if I should not, maybe not, stand on the bridge. <laughs> cool. Ow, dang it. Okay. I was trying to do a swift cast and a fire three, but I accidentally hit blizzard three. What? I guess it's okay because it makes uh, it didn't hurt anything. It makes this cost a little less. Can I click on this thing? Oh, there. 
Uh, no, I'm stuck in lore. Okay. <laughs> I'm stuck in the lore. All right. Man, I, I thought for sure this would be the first... First, uh, boss, but we, we must almost be there. A little of this, and a little of this, and some of that. Uh, misplay, misplay. It's not even the boss. Oh, all these books came alive. Um, I actually wanted on you get a flare. A little thunder. Okay. Alright, first boss. A giant book. Look, I remember this now. He is, whoops, he is so cool looking how awesome that is. Alright. Focus, Penny. Stop saying how cool this is and just kill it. Ah. No, slow and heavy. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I see what's happening on the ground here. I'm not getting out of those things. I, this back this back thing, the color thing messed me up. We got to get on the other side of him or he's going to kill us. Ow. Right. Okay. I wanna- I gotta be able to see the ground there. I wasn't able to see it before. Frostbite, of course. Maybe I should do this and help out. <laughs> How about that? Uh, the healer's probably like, what the hell is the matter with you? Now we want to get across. It's hard to do. There we go. With the ice on there, but we did it. We did it, you guys. Out of that. bad boss. I actually, li I really like, I know I keep saying it, but I really like this, um, ooh, yes, please, I will take that. And this one's just whatever. You know, I'm gonna start greeting that stuff, because then I can sell it for tomes. <laughs> um, and we should, we should put those on, actually. Nice boots. They actually look really nice, too. Uh, don't fit our current current aesthetic, but that's okay. They don't have to. Those were a huge upgrade, actually. Uh, oh, the other thing I did is someone mentioned, hey, you should buy the Shire gear. 
uh, from the vendor in Idleshire. And so I did. Um, I did, and we probably have enough to for a full set now. Um, but you have to be level 60. So at level 60, we'll have our, our gear all ready uh, to wear. And something funny is I didn't look at how it looked. <laughs> so normally I, I take a look at that first. Like, okay, which one looks cooler? Um, I didn't do that. So I don't know how it's going to look when we put it on. So hopefully the Shire gear... I bought the better one from from the the number two. Hopefully it looks cool. Otherwise we will be glamoring ourselves. We might use these boots because I actually really like uh really like those boots. Maybe with a, a different skirt or something. We'll see. Can I get this treasure? Look how look how cool this place is. Ah, uh, we don't really need that, but I will greet it as usual. This is such a cool dungeon. I promise I'm gonna make I'm gonna try to make that the last time I say that. <laughs> I don't know why I like this one so much, I just do. Treasures? No. It's through the gate. Discover ever. What? Oh. Oh, uh, I also did a random dungeon, and unfortunately, it gave us one that we hadn't ran before, which was Wanderer's Palace. Um, so sorry, we didn't <laughs> record that. We might go back and do Wanderer's Palace at some point, just so we have, you know, documented that we did it. But we, uh, I was doing a random duty to try to get leveled a little bit more. And that's the one we got. Another book. Oh, behemoth. Bi Biblos. Like Biblo Biblioteca? I forget what this guy does. And I'm too, I'm too scared to ask. <laughs> so we'll have to uh, learn as we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Maybe if I go back there? Yeah, he won't hit so hard. I think if I just keep him off the other guy, invulnerable. Oh no. Alright, so we kill these little guys, huh? What do you do? Lead him across the thing? Aha! Okay. That's cool. I see. Yeah, he ran farthest away that he could. Okay. And we could put this up next time that happens. Invulnerable. Kill these books again. Ow. Oh, 
vulnerability me up. Lead him into it. There we go. Go back up and try not to... There we go. That seemed to work. back on him. Although he's almost dead. That should take him down. Cool! Cool, cool, ka -choo. Uh, what's the treasure? Don't need those. We don't- and we don't need an earring at all because we've got our earring on, but it, like I said, I'm gonna greed because you can actually sell some of this stuff to, um, the grand company to get seals and since we're not capped out and I don't really want to fate grind on our grand company rate rank um, we're gonna get seals and then we can actually make gill by getting the seals and buying stuff and then selling them so we're gonna try to make some money because there's something cool coming out with one of the next the next pack, I think. Not pack. The next patch is going to fix the housing crisis, they said. I don't know what that means. But, um... If there's a chance <laughs> that we could buy a house in this game, we're going to do it. We are going to get a house on this character if we can <laughs> I don't want to get your hopes up because it still might be like a ridiculous purchase process the purchase process now is stupid uh, and they they're not letting people kind of because of COVID going on and people's income is maybe not as stable as it was they actually did something pretty cool in my mind but it did cause a little bit of a crisis was they didn't have people's houses expire if you if you didn't get on and pay like your rent <clears throat> which i thought is cool because i i bet no people are like oh people aren't working they can stay home all day and play the game that's not really the case that's the case is that people aren't working they're not being paid they probably need to save money and the first thing to go would be an mmo subscription i think so I think that was a, a good move on their part, but yeah, they do need to fix the way housing uh, is done in the game, in my opinion. I think it's too hard, too hard to get a house, uh, especially, like, for me, I, I was playing the other character a lot, and I still don't have a house on the other character, and every time one came up, it just immediately got camped by other people. So basically the only way to get a house is pay someone else who's bought the house to transfer it to you, which is stupid. I don't know if that's what they're fixing or they're just giving more houses. If they're, if they're doing that, I, I would really like to get a house, basically. <laughs> I want to get one because housing in, in MMOs is one of my favorite things. Lord of the Rings Online, you better believe we are going to get a house when we get to the right level and have enough enough money. You can get one pretty early on in that game, too. There's a, But there's a treasure chest back that way. But I bet they're not going to wait for us. And I guess we don't need all the treasures. Okay, I need to say it one more time. He looks so cool! <laughs> Look, how Look at that boss! He looks awesome! Alright, here I come, guys. Sorry, I wanted to watch the little cutscene. Oh! <laughs> Map in the realm. Great Google Library. All right, I'm ready. Ready, Freddy. 
That's so cool. They they also uh, waited for us. It's very nice of them. That, that is one thing I will say about Final Fantasy's community more than any other MMO. Uh-oh. Where should I put it? Over here? More than any other M MMO, I think, has one of the best communities. What do I- what do I do? What do we do here? Okay. I don't- I don't know what to do. I was just kind of watching them to see what they did. So we gotta do those seals, I guess. Whenever they come up. What I'm realizing is we're not putting like ley lines or anything. Okay, put it like back here, maybe? Alright. Alright, let's do a ley lines. Oh, we need two people on these to make it work. Okay. I see. Ah! <laughs> Let me go back to my ley lines. Well, that sucked. We, <laughs> we didn't get, make very good use of that ley lines, but that's okay. Uh-oh. All right, three need to go over here. We almost got him. What a fun dungeon. Kaga hide. Charlene Perceptor's lawn kill. I wonder if that's if we can wear any of those gears. <laughs> ba 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 da ba da ba ba. Thank you for oops. Oh, I didn't even get to say thank you. Well we got both of them. I don't know if it's something that we can wear. Let's see. One of them is. We got bracelets. Date the gear. Cool. Well, that was the great Google library. Uh, obviously, it's for as many times as I said, it's so cool. Uh, you know that this is one of my favorite dungeons. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We got another crystal. We only got one more that we need. Beautiful. We are almost restored. Ugh. I'm grabbing our chest. Having some heartburn. We just happen to know that's the book we need, huh? That's all she wrote. Alrighty. So that was the great Google library. And I think with that, you guys, we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll go turn in this tome to Matoya. And I will turn in this little side quest. And then we should only have two more Aether currents that we need before we get flying in this zone and kind of wrap this zone up. Uh, and then we'll get to Azus Law. So I'm excited for that. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, 
I will see you guys next time. What are you looking at, Wingsauce? Bye-bye, everyone.